what's going on YouTube and welcome to hopefully the last video you have to watch regarding remote ID I swear I've looked high and low searched through YouTube DJI forums just about everywhere and anywhere that you could imagine trying to find this so-called remote ID I've even had people tell me well you just have to buy a module um, there's other ways of being compliant and I'm in my mind I'm thinking you know the enterprise the RTK the DJI RTK which we run we also have a the Phantom 4 version 2 those are kind of top-of-the-line drones in my opinion and to sit here and have to buy something extra it just wasn't making sense to me so long story short um, I found it um, I'm gonna walk you through both the Phantom 4 version 2 as well as the RTK the Phantom 4 RTK drone um, see if you can't get this squared away the one thing I will say is you need to make sure hook your drones up to your laptop um, make sure you are up to date firmware any kind of updates make sure you're like latest and greatest before you start making any changes same thing applies for the DJI Go 4 app um, I had to uninstall reinstall it make sure it's up to date um, and then once you do complete once you do find your your remote ID you will have to go to the FAA drone zone login make sure you're in the part 107 managed devices and you could update it there but it's really actually simple um, just follow along I've got videos for both like I mentioned um, so if you have any questions write them down in the description below if you like what you see or if it helps you out and you're kind of appreciative that somebody actually gave you some substance that was useful like subscribe um, we're always doing fun stuff be it drone projects I work in the construction industry um, progress videos uh, remote control cars all kinds of fun stuff man just trying to enjoy life to the fullest so if you like what you see man subscribe give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it let's get into it all right so getting started let's go ahead and uh start from left to right the phantom 4 version 2 uh again guys i can't stress it enough um for you to go and do your firmware update uh, if you read on the update log <clears throat> added support for remote id requirements in the united states notes update the dji go 4 app to the latest version Otherwise, the aircrafts cannot be used. <clears throat> Do not update this firmware version if the GS Pro app is being used with the aircraft. Otherwise, the aircraft cannot be used. So again, just make sure you're up to date, latest and greatest uh, firmware as well as that, the Go4 app. And once you know for sure your app is up to date and you have all the firmware both on your remote control as well as your drone up to date, go ahead and fire them both up, turn them on, and then you're going to hit the top right hand three little button drop down your menu once you go in there you're going to go to general settings general settings is the last one all the way down on the left three little dots once you go in there you're going to scroll all the way down the very last line item you're going to see where it says about click on it once you're in the about menu second to last line you're going to see where it says remote id serial number all right, guys, moving along. Last but not least, we have the Phantom 4 RTK. Once you know for sure you have the latest firmware for both the aircraft and the remote control, go ahead and turn them both on. You're going to notice top left-hand corner, the menu drop down. You're going to go to the aircraft symbol, device management. Go ahead and click on aircraft. Once you click on aircraft, it's going to bring you to the aircraft info. And the fourth line down, you're going to see where it says remote ID serial number. All right, folks. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up, share it, send it to somebody that could use it. There's really not a whole lot of information out there for me to make this video kind of tell you something. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to share, send it to somebody, put on a forum, help a brother out. Thank you. Y'all take it easy.